Whether you are a golf pro or you are brand new to golf, you wanna make sure you are maximizing your driver distance. This video is three very easy ways to make sure that you are doing that. And we're even including a tennis racket. Let's do it. Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy. As I mentioned, we wanna maximize this bad boy. We wanna hit the driver as far as we are capable of doing so. And in this video, we're gonna talk about three stages to make sure we are maximizing our distance. If you enjoy the video throughout, smash that like button. Let me know you're enjoying the content. Leave me a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, and you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss out on any of the videos that we're gonna be posting. Hit the bell icon as well, and that will keep you notified every time I release a new video. And why not share this video around? Share it to your friends and family. If they struggle with distance, this will help all golfers, whether you're a golf pro or whether you are brand new to the game. So first stage, we're gonna talk about club head speed and angle of attack to make sure you're maximizing what you can do to hit the ball further. Let's get into that. So club head speed is incredibly important. We wanna give our club head the best chance of maximizing the speed. So when we hit the golf ball, we have got a chance of propelling the ball as far as we possibly can. And the other big ingredient as well is making sure we hit up on the ball with driver. That's gonna optimize our launch conditions to get the ball flying high with, no, with little spin and getting that ball as far as it possibly can. So there's two ways of doing this. We're gonna talk about angle of attack first because a lot of that comes down to setup and a little bit of the speed comes into setup as well. So as we set up to the driver, we're looking at creating a stance to maximize speed with a little bit of, a bit of a width to it, creating a width of stance that is wider than your shoulders, that's gonna give you some stability and a way of being able to create some powers through the floor, through your body, down into your arms and through the golf club. That is where it's gonna get us our club head speed. In that setup position as well, we're looking at actually getting the upper body to tilt more to the right so more behind the golf ball. So from the peak of my cap down to my belly button, we've actually created a bit more of a slant in the upper body. And what that's gonna allow us to do as we come in to hit the golf shot is to get the club moving upwards through the golf ball so that we hit up on the ball to maximize our launch conditions. The other big thing to notice as well, as I come through to hit the golf shot here, we wanna maximize the speed through the hitting area. Worst thing we can do is maximize the speed here. And as we come in to hit the ball, we're slowing down. So we wanna make sure that we're maximizing that speed on the way down and even through the shot to give us the most power. And the best way of creating power in the backswing is making sure that we rotate the shoulders as far as we can to make sure that we can whip through the golf shot on the way down to create that speed. So we've got set up nice wide stance I've got the upper body tilted back to hit up on the golf ball. We're gonna really turn the shoulders in the backswing and hit through the ball with maximum speed and certainly speed post impact too. Let's give that a hit. Boom. Boom, exactly what we wanted. Hit up on the golf ball maximize speed let's move into the next stage which is making sure we use that speed and transfer it into the golf ball making sure that golf ball goes a long a long way stage number two and this is incredibly important if we've generated the speed and we're hitting up on the golf ball we've got to make sure that translates into energy and efficiency into the golf ball you might have heard the word smash factor smash factor is quite simply the efficiency that you're getting from the club head and how it's transferring into ball speed we want to keep the ball speed as hot as possible and it's very important that we hit the right part of the head if we hit too low on the head we're going to lose ball speed if we hit too far from the toe or the heel we're going to lose ball speed i've talked about it a few times before about spraying the club face with athlete's foot powder the spray powder and hitting some shots and seeing where you're hitting from that's massively important but not knowing where you hit is one of the most fundamental mistakes some golfers make when trying to maximize distance and this is where the tennis racket comes into play and it kind of makes sense when we think about this if i want to hit a ball a long way with a tennis racket i want to hit the middle of that tennis racket the worst thing to create power would be to hit in different parts of that 
Another analogy, if I was to jump on a trampoline, I would want to jump into the middle of the trampoline to give myself the most power to go upwards. If I jumped from the side, that wouldn't give me the most power. So if I hit this golf ball with the tennis racket, I want to hit the middle of that tennis racket. Now, for someone who's not skilled at golf, at tennis, not skilled at golf, you could say that, not skilled at tennis, the worst thing I would do is put as much power as I can into that without knowing where the middle of the racket is. So these two, club head speed and sentence of strike, come hand in hand. You want to blend them both. You want to practice them both and you want to monitor them both. Create speed, great. Being able to find the middle of the club face, great. Blending those two components together, that's where you're going to maximize your distance and that's where you're going to hit the ball further. Let's talk about the last stage, stage number three. And we're going to talk more about what the club does and how we can make sure this is fine-tuned for us to get the most distance out of our shots. So you've got the swing speed, you've got the sentence of strike. Now we need to make sure that the club is the best fit for you. Is it giving you the optimum performance that you need from the driver? So are you looking at the correct launch conditions? Have you been fitted for your driver? There's so many drivers on the market there's so many drivers now offering adjustability and pretty much every manufacturer now pushes fitting. Make sure you get fitted. Now, the things to bear in mind is a good custom fitting might not gain you 50 yards, but it might gain you 5 or 10 at a push, maybe 15. And that's making sure that your numbers from a launch monitor from GC Quad or Trapman Flight Scope, whichever one that you get fitted on, is giving you the most optimum performance. So you're hitting it with the correct launch angle, you're creating the correct spin numbers, the correct peak height, so that your ball, when it lands, is also going to travel the furthest as well. And that's where fitting really comes into its own element. If you've not been fitted for a driver yet, it's a huge advantage to get fitted because it just starts to fine tune what you do because we're all different. Notice in this video, I've not really talked about loads of different technical aspects. We're talking about how to maximize your driver shots, the way you swing it. And really everyone swings it different. So having a club that's more fitted and more suited to your swing type is going to play an enormous part and an enormous improvement. So when I hit driver, I hit on launch monitors a lot, and I know pretty much where my optimal performance range is when I'm hitting my drivers, and I like to keep drivers within that. If you're not getting within those windows, in those criteria, you might be losing valuable yards. You might be spinning the ball too high. You might be spinning the ball too low. You might not be getting the best benefit out of your shots. And it's something that is highly valuable to make sure that you're hitting the golf ball as far as you can. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below what areas of this video have helped you improve the most. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And do all three. Make sure you get your club head speed hot, you're hitting up on the golf ball. Make sure that you're hitting the middle of the club face, transferring that club head speed into ball speed to give you the best launch, the best speed, the best distance. And then finally, make sure your club that you're using is suited for you. Add all those components up together and this is where we might see 30, 40, 50 yards of gains. No guarantees, but we hope. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single video when I push them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. Share this video around as well for people who maybe struggle with distance. Give some guys a, a helping hand. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. We'll see you next time.